Hey man, I hear back and clue we in here. I'm gonna turn the light on real fast. We gotta talk about something. That good for you. Look, man. We're gonna talk about the nastiest protein I have ever had. Um <laughs> so much so I didn't even finish it. This is years old. Check it out. My mom actually still got this for some reason. Pete the tag. Twenty dollars. Can y'all see that? No, it's upside down. Hold on. I know some of y'all. $19.99. That's brand new. I got this back when I was in high school. Uh, to put it into perspective, I graduated 10 years ago. So this is like at least 11 years old. All right. So let me let me tell y'all. 20 grams of protein. 100 calories. Per, you know, see the serving size? Yo. So I walk into the store. I miss. I'm thinking I'm getting a deal. I'm like, yo, protein. Twenty dollars, fifty-seven servings. It tell you right on the front. Fifty-seven. Look at that good look. Chocolate cream. Oh man, I was about to do it on them until I tasted it. All right, so look, this is protein isolate from Ultimate Nutrition, but Platinum Series. But guess what? This is wheat protein with added digestive enzymes. So that's what's up. But this is wheat protein. Let me show y'all how much of this is used. Most of it is still in here. This is like 11 years old and the powder is still powdering. So I could theoretically use it if I wanted to. But look, this protein is so disgusting. So nasty. I did. It's still there. 57. 57 servings of protein for... $20. Trash. Nasty. Wheat protein. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. So, like, I, yeah, I, nobody was buying that. That would have been a great, like, vegan option, maybe. Uh, maybe if the wheat wasn't genetically modified, people could handle it, <laughs> right? That's just wheat generally. But, no. Nah. Because it sucks. It's nasty. That's why you do not see people selling wheat protein. They sell like pea protein and all kinds of other protein. Soy protein, even. But not wheat protein. That is the worst protein I ever tasted. Evan Sintapani spoke on it. Said it was also the worst protein he's ever tasted. You can't put it in anything, right? You can't put it in anything. Ultimate Nutrition. I don't know why I came out with this product. Somebody with no taste buds probably tasted it. Or y'all just didn't care. I don't know if the vegan market was going crazy. I know most people back then weren't vegans. They were vegetarians. Uh, typically, vegans are mainly females anyway, uh, historically. So, yeah. Which also, females generally live longer than men anyways. So, when you look at the data, that's why a lot of times vegans tend to live longer already than the general population, which they say are meat eaters. Really, that's just general population of people who are not health conscious, who eat whatever they want, because in that population, you have a more even mix of men and women. So the average lifespan is going to come out lower than the average lifespan of vegans, because most vegans, at least in the past, have been women, actually even now, are women. But that is closing up because people are becoming more health conscious. People are becoming more conscious in general and one thing about um veganism well there's mostly like not vegans in general but like there's different types of flavors of plant-based and vegans and fruitarians and all this kind of stuff but these groups of people now are becoming more educated and there are more educators in the space because a lot of people will go vegan and basically end up in the hospital because they end up with all kinds of deficiencies or they will try to apply that type of diet to goals that don't fit that kind of diet right so there is more education going on in that space to keep people from falling to the, the pitfalls that they previously had so there's more people getting into it and more people realizing that hey this is actually a great way to reverse some of these diseases that we are told are only manageable via medication and it's great because people it's, it's like you don't really need to be a nutritional whiz or to understand in depth as much really to be a vegan especially if you have somebody who's able to tell you all right just put these different foods together because once you know the 
the array of foods that you have, the variety of foods that you have, you just throw them together versus in other nutritional spaces, people get thrown off because it's almost like having a limiter forces you to, to grow. I'm getting beyond the scope of this video.